What's up, you guys? All right, today we are going to focus on the DVDs and VHSs in our collection here. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys, I forgot to show you before, um, we have the Lost, the Complete Series set. This is the, the Blu-ray set. And then over here we also have, I just picked this up the other day, it came in the mail. And it's the, the Star Trek collection on DVD. I, I got it for a really good deal on eBay. I got all this all the movies there for 40 bucks. So I was pleased about that. And then down here, I've showed you guys before, these are the Star Trek VHS movies. And then um, we just have the indie box set. And, um, and then the making of indie on VHS. Alright, so let's go over here. We'll start with... The VHS's um, on the top shelf here. I have all the different Star Wars. These aren't all of them by any means. This is not the complete, the complete collection. But I'm trying to get all of them eventually. In this one, I'm just missing. What am I missing? Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. I'm missing Attack of the Clones for this set. Then eventually, I'd like to get all of the um, all of these the uh, the cartoon classics from Disney. And then I'm missing number four out of the McDonald's cartoon set. These are cool. I found these. These are beta. I don't have a beta player. I just thought, you know what, these are really neat. They're Disney, and um, they're still sealed. So pick those up. A lot of these clamshells we get at Rasputin, because it's buy, what is it, buy two, get one free? And they're only like $1.50 each, so. Oh, here, the penis cover. I found this one at Rasputin. Let's see if it'll zoom in on it. Oh wait, there it is. So got that. Little Mermaid. And then over here, this is kind of my VHS to watch stack. So those are my two watches. This here, it's a Blu-ray, let's see if I can get a better shot of it. It's a Blu-ray lanyard. And when all those blockbusters were closing, they had some uh, on, on one of the counters. They had like five or six. And so I asked the gal, I'm like, well, you know, how much are those? She's like, oh, please take one. So I picked up one of those. There's more VHSs, but we'll just we're gonna rock with some DVDs right now. Um, these are mostly the family DVDs. So I've got the Disney's on top. Then we've got some Scoobies, and then I just kind of went by um, seasonal, so I have some of the Halloween ones. And then I got, you know, the one Thanksgiving one, and then I went straight to Christmas. Johnny Quest, that's one of my favorite older cartoons. I really enjoy Johnny Quest. Iron Giant. There's a movie that needs to come out on Blu-ray. Picked this up the other day. I've never seen this cover before of the um, the animated Lord of the Rings. The 
Those are all, uh, well, there's a horrible glare there, isn't there? Cinematic Titanics. And then we've got, um, what was this one? They only released four of them. The Film Crew. And then the Rift Tracks. I only have a couple of the Rift Tracks. And then Star Wars DVDs. And then up here, just some more family movies. This one here is E.T. Ferris Bueller, that's the version with the John Hughes commentary. Let It Ride. I didn't realize Let It Ride was out of print. I saw it at uh, FYE the other day, and apparently FYE knows it's out of print, too, because they had it priced at $25. Um, but yeah, if you ever find Let It Ride's really funny. I've never seen Lucky Numbers, but the only way to pick it up cheap is in this double feature. That Thing You Do. Love that one. These are all my SNLs and some comedies. And then we've got some documentaries down here. And some music. Duran Duran, Eagles. And then some, just a couple criterions that I have. I'm going to hold on to my, my DVD copy of Dazed. I, know, I just, I love the packaging on it. I know it's pretty much the same as the, the new Blu-ray, but it's just a really cool set. Same with Fear and Loathing. Really enjoy the packaging on that as well. And then some of these I do have on Blu-ray, but I just, I really respect the packaging on these, like Raging Bull, Scarface, um, you know, Sunset isn't, isn't out yet, but this is, you know, I just, I love the packaging on that. Same with Tombstone. Well, Jackie Brown for sure. Oh, in fact, I'm going to pick up the Canadian version of Jackie Brown um, because it's just their packaging is so much better, and I believe it includes the DVD as well. Same with Tombstone. Fantastic packaging on that. The Warriors. Here's the original release of it. And those are all of the Bonds. I picked those up from my friend. I like the packaging on this Casino Royale as well. It's kind of a hard case. It's got a funky feel to it, too. And then here's all of the um, the monster movies. And up here, same with this Planet of the Apes. Love the packaging on this Planet of the Apes. You know, and that's Spine 14. I'll have to figure out what the first 13 were. I just don't remember seeing any other spines with numbers on them. But I'm going to check that out. Just great packaging on that. Same with this War of the Worlds. Really enjoy that. That's cool. This is the Nut Up or Shut Up version of Zombieland on DVD. It's not the Blu ray version. But I was on um, one of the sites, either DVD Talk, I think it was DVD Talk, and someone was selling it pretty inexpensively.
There's, oh, hold on. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There it is. That's the bonus disc from Best Buy. I think Best Buy was the only place where you could pick that up. That's just not focusing now, is it? Darn thing. Anyway, there it is. Nut Up or Shut Up Edition. Beyond Thunderdome. That needs to come out on Blu-ray. Ed Wood. One is the the silver, I believe the silver spine is the original one, and then the uh, the black spine is the newer one. Um, on Ed Wood, there was a featurette, I think on cross-dressing or something, that, uh, that, Ed Wood, that Tim Burton didn't approve. And uh, so it, the disc was kind of immediately pulled from the shelves, but some got through. This one's still sealed, but I'm pretty sure. The sil I think the silver or the gray spine is the older print. But then I've heard that some of the black spines also have the, the featurette as well. That's kind of a fun little thing to have. Because I'm knocking everything over on the shelf. Ay ay ay. Come on now. Um, License to Drive. This one's out of print, but I just saw that it's going to be coming out on Blu-ray towards the beginning of the year. Same with Dutch. Um, Dutch was also out of print, but that's going to be coming out. This one's cool. This I picked up from Target. It's uh, six of the 80s movies. We've got Valley Girl, Rachel Papers, Losing It, Last American Virgin, Class, and Zapped. I mean, almost all of those are just, those are all winners right there. And then here's kind of, these are the rest of the VHS tapes. I Don't even ask me why I split them up like that. Sometimes that's just how it rolls. Wildlife. This one is. Uh, this one isn't, isn't even on DVD. It's. I heard it's all music rights. That's why they haven't been able to to put it out on DVD. But it sure deserves a DVD, even a Blu-ray release. It was kind of a sequel to Fast Times, sort of. Kind of that same concept, but. That's a shame. I hope one day they get to release that on uh, on Blu-ray. Valley Girl. Yes, I have two versions of it down here. The let's try to get some light. <clears throat> okay. Let's see which version. Okay. The newer versions of Valley Girl are missing some of the original music. The only way you can hear the original music is getting them on the old VHS tapes. In both of these, one of them, let's see, is it this one? This one, for some reason, I picked it up used, well, obviously, and darn thing doesn't work. So I had to go onto eBay, and I picked this up for really inexpensive. And, yeah, sure enough, you can hear all the old music. This one is... Vestron. This is the Vestron release. See, they even like they advertise all of the songs on there. And then this one is the Video Treasures release. So anyways, in case you were wondering about Valley Girl, the only way you can hear the original music is through um is through the VHS copy. Of course, Blackula, my favorite pickup of the year, which is a, very close to hammer time. And then my little HD DVD collection. I used to have a lot more, but I sold a lot of them off. But there's a wicked glare on there. 
in case you guys can't read those, it's Hot Rod, Balls of Fury, Big Lebowski, Days to Confuse, The Thing, Happy Gilmore, The Jerk, King Kong, Mall Rats, Midnight Run, Sneakers, Streets of Fire, Road Warrior, and then The Eagles Farewell Tour. And there we go. That is that's the DVD and uh, and VHS collection. Like I said, if you guys ever want to see anything more up close, you know I'm more than happy to to open them up and and show you. I just don't do it on here for for just time reasons. And I have all your requests from before. So like I said, once I finish up the collection videos, I will I will have separate. Uh, you know, op like reveal videos or opening videos and show you guys what you requested. Uh, so last up will be the steel books, and uh, you know, looking forward to showing you what I got there. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you later.